Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby JTV, man. Start with a like, comment, subscribe. I just want to say this, man. I finally reached 200 subscribers, man. I am so thankful for every single one of y'all, man. Round of applause to you guys, man. You know, I got inspired by DJ Academics, Jada Black, O'Shea Duke Jackson, and a bunch of people, Coach Greg Adams, to start this channel. A bunch of my dudes, Olabi, showed me some love. A lot of people made this happen. I'm thankful. But hey, this ain't the end. Road to 1K. Let's get it poppin'. Ariel versus Brandon Schaub. Wow. <laughs> bunch of homeless cats and PF Changs versus versus you know brandon Schaub. why and how did this start so basically uh on below the belt podcast which i personally don't listen to brandon Shaw was talking a lot of smack about mma journalists right and how did this start this was about a month ago right and then ariel helwani right went on the um pat mcafee show and basically said hey man this guy, Brendan Shaw, has been hating on me from time. And I I don't want to have beef, but yo, I'm done. I'm done with the bullshit. Stop calling me out of my name and show me some MF and respect. You wanted some R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Tell me what it means to me. Yeah, that's what happened, right? And apparently, Shaw was supposed to give Ariel an apology on air, right? Apparently, that was a conversation he had with uh, Brian Callen, right? Long story short, last week or a few days ago on Bloody Elbow, they released a, a journalist released uh, uh, an opinion piece, right? Saying how uh, Joe Rogan should not be a commentator no more. Yo, I'm a big UFC fan, MMA fan. Y'all know what it is. That is a stupid take, a stupid opinion. I didn't even take time to read the post. I, I did not. But then, since, you know, Shab reacts to everything, he was on his Below the Belt show, I believe, early in the week. It was Monday or something. And he said, all these journalists are cappers. They're all trash. They're all clout chasers. They all want clicks. And they're always. He basically went and roasted all MMA journalists, right? And through some little digs, at Ariel without mentioning his name, right? So Ariel on his show, right? The MMA Hour, he went on a 20, no, 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 maybe 15 to 20 minute roll session of Brendan Shaw. <laughs> like it was absolutely, it was unhinged. You could tell that this dude was just waiting for the chance for the, to the point where Ariel was listening to hit him up by Pac. You know what I'm saying? Before the show. Meaning he was ready for smoke. Okay? He pulled out all kind of receipts. He pulled out all kind of kind of accusations. He roasted the man's entire career, entire being. And then you go to Reddit, right? <laughs> the fighter and the kid Reddit. And the homeless cats were loving it, bro. They were loving it. And that's the summary of what happened. But let me tell you why I'm on Ariel's side on this, right? I'm on Ariel's side because Brandon Schaub is not a humble guy he's an arrogant guy he's a very arrogant guy now look can can you have a lot of confidence of the success that yet yes he should have confidence and he should feel proud of himself for all the efforts he's done of course but sometimes his ego is so cringy and he talks so much smack that it's so off-putting bro like and for me i say this as somebody who used to be a fan of brendan Schaub, right I actually used to like him when he was a fighter and he was a lot more humble back then, right? I think that he struggles with that so much so that it's an insecurity. And I think he looks below guys like Ariel, you right, Ariel Hawani, and thinks that he has the, the credit and the rep to talk smack about not only Ariel, but all MMA journalists because he sees himself above all of them right now look just because you are a fighter just because you have experience just because you were known just because you are popular doesn't mean that you are liked or respected you can be popular and not liked or respected look at donald trump okay you can be popular and not appreciated bro the whole a lot of people forty-four thousand people on a subreddit okay the fighter and the kid subreddit 
spend night and day endlessly roasting this dude. And they've done that for the past few years because he is so arrogant. He doesn't listen to his criticisms. He doesn't listen to, listen to constructive criticism. And I feel that Ariel, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go at Ariel too. Ariel, you're, you're, you're being salty. You're putting out all your anger into Brandon Schaub. And some of that anger is because sometimes Ariel has been fired from a lot of jobs. Ariel has been very bad at having relationships with specific people in the UFC and he was and there's the rumor that he's bad to work with is low-key kind of true you know what i mean now look two things can be true brandon shop can be an arrogant piece of trash and ariel can be a rough guy to work with them two things are 100 percent true why am i siding mostly with ariel for the simple fact that bruh you know, Brandon needs this. He needs this to humble him and get his ego down. And I'm saying this. Brian Callen is not a great friend because Brian Callen does not call him out enough. Does not roast him enough. That's why it's refreshing when you have guys like Theo Vaughn. You have guys like Chris D'Elia. You know what I'm saying? Going back and Brandon and giving him some spice and not sucking off on his, you know what I'm saying? probably shrimpy looking uh, anyways man i'm not gonna talk about another man's manhood but long story short he has a lot of cringe in him he has a lot of arrogance in him and that does not bode well with the audience bro like if you look at his recent below the belt bro he hella dislikes because he doesn't have the humility you have to give ariel a certain level of respect you have to give mma journalists a certain level of respect because they are going out of the line to create media and hype for you guys without the media mma and the ufc subsequently would be absolutely nothing because mainstream media as ariel pointed out is not going to talk about the ufc or mma unless it's connor unless it's khabib unless it's uh, some of the diaz brothers other than that they could give a f maybe masvidal they could give a f u c k maybe josh jones john jones but when it comes to the MMA game, the journalists need to be given respect. And these journalists are getting paid pennies. So this is a passion project for them. And for Brendan Shop to have the arrogance to be hating on these men and women who do a job that is not even paying enough. Man, that was a complete huge form of disrespect. And on top of that, Brandon Shop steals a lot of their content and their takes. So it's double disrespect. But let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all on the Brendan side, the homeless cat side, the P.S. Chang side, or um, y'all, y'all, sorry, my bad, my bad. Are y'all on the Brendan side, the uh, below the belt, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, food truck diaries, uh, fighter and the kid, or are y'all on the aerial side, the P.F. Chang side, the homeless cat size like myself man let me know in the comments below i appreciate everybody who showed love to the channel big baby jtv thank you for 200 subs like comment subscribe and i'm out bro